He must be Edward Bloom. How do you know? No one would come out here unless they had business. And no one would have business with me except for you. You're buying a town. Apparently I've overlooked this one piece of it and I'd like to remedy that. You see, in order for the town to be preserved, the trust must own it in its entirety. So I've heard. Now I'll offer you more than it's worth. And you know you won't have to move. Nothing will change except the name on the deed you have my own. Now let me get this straight. You'll buy the swamp from me, but I'll stay in it. You'll own the house, but it'll still be mine. I'll be here, but you can come and go as you please to one place or another. Do I have that right? In so many words, yes. Then I don't think so, Mr. Bloom. If nothing is going to change, I just assume it not change the way it hasn't been changing all this time. It's not like you're going to lose anything. You can ask anyone in town. I've been nothing if not generous. I want the best for everyone. Mr. Bloom, why are you buying this town? It's helping people. It makes me happy. I'm not convinced you should be happy. I'm, I'm sorry, have I, have I offended you? No. You did exactly as you promised. You came back. I just ex expected you sooner. You're Beeman's daughter. You, your last name, it's, it's different. You, you married? I was 18. He was 28. Turns out, that was a big difference. I won't be selling you this house, Mr. Bloom. I see. Thank you for your time. Sorry. Uh, I'll, Just I'll, leave it. Please. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. Go.